So there have been some questions about how the Livewire GPIO that's associated with the Telos Zephyr Extreme might work uh, in the Livewire world with the Livewire GPIO node, and so I'd like to demonstrate that for you now. Um, on the right-hand side, you can see the GPIO or the Livewire GPIO that's associated with the Zephyr Extreme. Uh, on the left-hand side of the screen down towards the bottom area, uh, you can see the GPIO that is associated with this uh, Livewire uh, Axia GPIO node. Um, I have them port mapped right now, which basically is a virtual snake between port 1 on the Zephyr and port 1 on the GPIO node. So as the Zephyr receives uh, a contact closure from a, you know, from a far site, um, that would normally trigger an output on the 25-pin connector on the back of the, uh, the Zephyr, and it will still do that. Uh, but what you will see is that that will also trigger an input uh, on the GPIO node, part of the of the Zephyr, which is then translated to a physical output on the Axia GPIO node. So that's how the contact closure comes from the Zephyr to the GPIO that's in the Zephyr and is mapped to a GPIO node uh, for purposes of getting that contact closure to some other device.